It's Monday, June 5th, and it's Apple's big day today as its Worldwide Developers Conference, or WWDC, kicks off in San Jose. The annual meetup is, of course, focused more on the folks that write software that works on the many branches of Apple's product lines and not so much on hardware. But there is some expectation that Tim Cook and company could roll out a Siri-based smart home hub to compete with Amazon's Alexa. Other highlights should include a preview of iOS 11, which runs iPhones and iPads. The folks at Bloomberg say the next version of the mobile-focused OS may include some significant visual tweaks, and BGR says a new app called Files that only runs on iOS 11 has popped up on the App Store, and it may give users more macOS-like access to all the stuff stored on our iPhones and iPads. That would be cool. We'll have a full wrap-up of all of the WWDC action later today, so hit the link for the latest updates. Speaking of Apple, it looks like the company is about to flex some financial muscle and is also partnering up with an unexpected rival to take control of an important piece of tech manufacturing, a computer chip maker. Multiple sources say Apple, Amazon, Sharp, and Apple's primary gadget assembly partner, Foxconn, are teaming up to buy Toshiba's NAND memory chip facilities, which will operate under the Foxconn banner if the deal goes through. But it's no slam dunk. The Japanese government is reportedly opposed to handing over the company to a Chinese entity, Foxconn, even if Apple and Amazon are involved. So far, Toshiba has rejected a $27 billion bid from Foxconn, so it's unclear what the tipping point in terms of money might be, and there will likely be management deals to contend with as well. Bidding is due to wrap up this month, so we'll keep you updated. Hey, it's time to get small. Remember how not too long ago computer chip makers were desperate to overcome manufacturing barriers that were keeping them from making chips in the 32 nanometer class? Ah, good times, as IBM just announced they have successfully produced chips at the five nanometer level. A little computer chip 101 here, the smaller you can make the transistors on a computer chip, the more you can cram into a given amount of space, increasing memory density, performance, and speed. But of course, it's not easy. We're talking about working at molecular scales and sizes that make human hairs look like megastructures. IBM says their 5 nanometer design gives a 40% performance boost over a competitor's 10 nanometer chips, and they can now squeeze 30 billion transistors onto a chip about the size of your fingernail. Oh, and they also say they can make the process work at the 3 nanometer level, so hey, much more to come. Check out all of the really tiny nano details at the link. That's it for DT Daily Today. Get more tech news updates on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to all of our podcasts on iTunes or wherever you get yours. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.